In Photoshop CC, there are a lot of ways to design efficiently using features like libraries, glyphs, artboards, and more. I need to create some artwork for band t-shirts, stickers, posters, and other merchandise that can be used to promote an upcoming album. In this video, I'll take you through the process of creating that artwork, which you can see here, and show you some great ways to be more efficient in Photoshop as you design. I've started my project by opening an image file and adding an artboard to the file by choosing Layer, New, Artboard from Layers. In this case, artboards will let me try out different design ideas in the same file. Now I'd like to add a design element to make some text that I'll add pop. I'll make a new layer in the Layers panel to contain this new artwork and make it easily editable later on. Using the Stamp tool over here in the Tools panel, I'll just copy a bit of the original image onto the new layer. Using the Move tool, I'll drag the selected layer content up a bit so you can see the difference. Next, I'll add some type to the design. I created some type earlier and will simply show the type layers in the Layers panel over here. I'll select the text and make a quick text formatting change. You can also choose Glyph Alternates for a selection right on the canvas to help save time. I'll select the letter C in Clouds and choose a Canvas Glyph Alternate that appears in this menu. With the artwork finished, I want to be able to save and reuse it elsewhere. I can easily do this with Creative Cloud Libraries, which allow you to access, organize, and share your design assets. You can even organize design assets into multiple Creative Cloud Libraries. These libraries may be based on projects or even types of assets, for instance. One way to add assets to a Creative Cloud Library is to select layers you want to save in the Layers panel, like these image layers, then drag them right into the Libraries panel to save the content and even rename it. I'll also select the text and drag that content into the Libraries panel as well and change the name. With a few assets saved in my default library, I can easily share any of them with the members of the band, for instance, so they can add this design content to stickers, posters, and whatever else they need. Right-clicking on an asset, you can choose Share Link. You can then create a public link that lets anyone with the link download a copy of the selected assets. And once downloaded, they'll be able to edit the contents independently of your original. I'd like to add the artwork that I saved to a mock-up of a t-shirt just to get an idea of what it may look like. This calls for another artboard. You can make a new artboard by selecting the artboard tool over in the tools panel and drawing an artboard or selecting a size and clicking add new artboard. I've created another library for a different project I'm working on, and I'd like to use this t-shirt image in this project. I'll drag the image onto the artboard, resize and reposition it a bit, then click this check mark in the options bar to finish. I'll switch back to the original library I had and drag the text I saved onto the artboard. By default, library assets that are dragged from the libraries panel are linked to the original library item. When an original asset is modified like this, all the project files using the linked asset will be updated to the latest version. As a last step for this project, I'll crop the artwork down to the correct album size I need. I'll start by zooming in a bit to the album artwork artboard. I can then click the album artboard name to select it and change the size in the options bar up here. I'll fit the artboard in the window so it's easier to see. Finally, I'll select the Layers in the Layers panel. Then I'll drag the artwork with the Move tool into the center of the artboard and take a look at my completed artwork. In Photoshop CC, there are many other features that allow you to work more efficiently as you design. Check out some of our other tutorials and give these techniques a try today.